Hey, what's up guys? Alpaca Fatty here, my first video. Thanks for stopping by and welcome to my YouTube channel. For this video, I'll be unboxing and assembling HLG's QB135 R spec, the V2 version. I'll be using the QB135 in my Northern Lights Autos Grow in 3x3 from seed to harvest. So the first thing out of the box is obviously the UK power cord and then onto the Meanwell driver, the HLG 120H 54A Meanwell driver which is dimmable from 60 to 160 watts. I've heard nothing but great stuff about Meanwell drivers so really excited for this. And then obviously bag of bits, nuts, bolts, your waterproof connectors, two foot core wire and obviously a sticker. This is the quantum board, but we'll open that in a little bit. And here is the black anodized heatsink, which has a really, really nice finish on it. It looks top quality. So I've got the pre-drilled holes as well. So this is the actual quantum board, the QB288 made by Samsung. It has the 272 Samsung 301B diodes, highest pin diodes, and 16 of the Osram deep red diodes, 660 nanometers. It has the 3500K full spectrum, which is perfect for seed to harvest. So first thing to do is to fit the QB288 board to the black analyzed heatsink, which is simple enough. You just line up the QB288 board to the eight pre-drilled holes on the heatsink, and then put in the eight screws by hand and tighten them up with a Phillips head screwdriver later. Not too tight, obviously, is to damage the board, but make everything snug and secure. Next thing to do after that is to put on the four little rubber feet, I suppose. Uh, they just go onto the four holes on the outside of the board and protect the diodes when you flip the board over to put on the meanwhile driver. Once the little rubber stoppers are all screwed into place, uh, flip the light over and get ready to fit on the Meanwell driver. Attaching the driver isn't too hard. It goes on at a slight angle as it's too big for the heatsink. Uh, you just line it up to the two holes at the edge of the heatsink and fasten it on with the two bolts provided. Shouldn't really take too long and once you're done with that, we can start on the AC side. First thing to do on the AC side is to unscrew the waterproof connector provided, uh, get it ready to fit everything on. Undo the little brass connectors in it with the Phillips head screwdriver just to make it easier for you later when you're trying to fit in the wires. So when you're ready, fit the end caps over the power wire coming from the Meanwell driver and tighten everything down. Then you can 
start getting the AC wires from the meanwhile driver side into the connector and tighten everything up with the Phillips head screwdriver. Once you've done that, we can start on the other side of the wire, connecting it to the waterproof connector as well. For the plug side of the AC connection, uh, I'd recommend giving the ends of the wires a little bit of a twist, just so they go into the brass connectors of the waterproof connector properly and make a solid connection. Again, like the first side of the AC connection, get the caps over the ends of the wire and screw them on so they're snug and secure. As soon as that's done, you can connect the power cord to the waterproof connector, making sure to match up all the wires correctly. The correct wires are brown to black, blue to white, and green and yellow to green. Tighten everything up with a Phillips head screwdriver, making sure it makes a solid connection with all the wires and double checking that you've matched up all the wires correctly again, just because you don't want to make any mistakes. Once you've done that and double checked all your connections, you can go ahead and tighten up the waterproof connector so it makes everything secure as it should do. As soon as that's done, you can now start preparing to do the DC side. For this side, just strip the end of the solid core wires, the black and red wire, about a centimeter each side. Once that's done, uh, connect the red wire from the meanwhile driver to the solid core red wire provided in the kit using a Wago clip. Do the exact same thing to the black or negative wires on the meanwhile driver and the wire provided in the kit to get ready to wire up the board. Once you've wired up the connections to the Wago clips on the DC side, Find out which side of the QB288 board is positive and which side is negative and then feed the red wire through to the positive side and the black wire through to the negative side to get ready to wire up the actual DC connection to the QB288 board. Once that's done, flip over the light again and get ready to wire up the DC connection to the QB288 board. Put 
pull the red wire from the DC connection through the hole on the heat sink and line it up with the connector on the QB288 board and trim the wire down to size. Make sure the wire has a little bit of slack on it so it's not pulled too tight and then strip it to the length of the connector on the QB288 board so it makes a, a good connection. Push the red DC connection into the connector on the QB288 board and give it a little tug just to make sure that it's actually how you made a full connection. On the negative side of the board, repeat the same steps. Pull the wire through, make sure it's not too tight. Cut the wire down to size and then strip the wire to the length of the connector. Pushing the, connect the wire in, making sure it has a solid connection. So that's the positive and negative sides of the DC connection wired up board should work properly now just fit on the hangers provided in the kit and you're ready to go so I hope you found this video useful um, please like and subscribe and a massive shout out to HLG for making this video possible and giving me the opportunity to review one of their lights. Uh, check out next time for the first update of the Northern Lights Auto Grow and take it easy.